and welcome to MathLite. This is a quick review of order of operations. All right, so a lot of people like the acrostic. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Some say Susan, and it just helps them to remember what to do, right? So the P is parentheses. So if they're there, you got to go into parentheses first. E is exponents. M is multiplication from left to right. D, division from left to right. So as you work left to right, look for any multiplication or division. Take those next. And then finally, working left to right, look for any addition or subtraction. If you follow that order of operations, you'll be in good shape and you'll be able to work the problem. So I've got one example here. It's got a little bit to it, but that's okay. So we're going to go inside the parentheses first. Inside the parentheses, there are no exponents. We'll look for multiplication division. And we're going to do this division right here. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. All right, so we got a negative 5. Now we're going to finish off this parentheses. Positive 1 and a negative 5 is a negative 4. All right, that parentheses is a negative 4. I'm going to keep working now within the brackets, right? Here and here. So I have 6 plus a negative 4. So my bracket ends up being a 2. All right, so that bracket is all finished. I'm now inside the brace. And as I work inside the brace, I'm going to evaluate the exponents first, right? That's a 4. And now I have negative 5 times 4 is a negative 20. Notice this negative sign in front of the bracket. It's got to stay. We still have the negative 4 in front, the minus, and the 3 in front. So that's where we're at right now. All right, let's finish working inside the um, braces. So I have 20 negatives and 2 more negatives. So my brace is a negative 22. Still have the negative 3 out in front and the negative 4 out in front of that. Now again, order of operations, there are no exponents, so I'm looking for multiplication or division. So I'm going to do this multiplication. All right, negative 3 times a negative 22 is a positive 66. And I still have this negative 4 in front. Finish up with addition, 4 negatives and 66 positives, remember. Four of those negatives wipe out four of those 66 positives, so there's 62 of the positives left, right? And there you go, 62. All right, order of operations, quick review. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally.